Well, hello everybody. Monty here. Monty plays games and we're playing a new game. Look at that. Looks scary. It's a survival game. Yeah, there's a little person hiding back there behind the, in the woods and that's going to be us. Uh, role playing game. We first person mode like we're we're controlling this character through the ages. We're going to have to get married. We're going to have to have children to keep our dynasty going and keep playing. Medieval Dynasty is the name of the game. We're going to be starting a completely new game. I have played it through uh, the first year. Uh, so that, this video is going to focus on that, getting through the first year. And uh, any tips and suggestions that uh, you guys have, please feel free to leave them below in the comments and that whole subscribing thing and all that. It's good times, especially this game. It has me hooked. Um, so let's get started and watch the intro, shall we? And I will catch you on the other side. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks, I held on to that thought tell the valley from my mother's stories. I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. All right, right into the load. So things went down. Family's gone. We're all alone. And uh, luckily, we've gone to a peaceful village. Peaceful, in quotes, because there are bears. Uh, there's things that can hunt us. Uh, I, haven't, I don't think there's any bandits or anything of that nature. The only people who can be thiefy is us. But here we go. It's a beautiful, beautiful-looking game here. Starting a new life. Gustavia is uh, where we're probably going to have to head. And be warned right now. I'm going to hit tab. There's a lot of tutorial things I'm going to skip through. But I will get to them uh, in in good time. If you are playing, uh, you guys might uh, feel a little overwhelmed, but it's really quite simple. This is a little unfortunate. I did one audio recording earlier, uh, or a recording earlier, just the intro to get the audio worked out. And there was a big elk standing right here. It was just beautiful and majestic and uh, a fun way to start. But... Uh, but yeah, this is our this is our character. You hit the tab key, like I said, a lot of intro stuff going like, hey, this is your journal. There's quest categories, there's uh, completed, and your knowledge. This is where you get to your knowledge. That's important, right? So and then if I hit the E key, it gives me more tips, like start your new life, go talk to that guy. It's really leading you along the way. Now, if I click these other tabs, it's going to do the same thing. Uh, and I'm going to skip through the inven uh, the tutorial stuff. Like, look, inventory, tutorial. I'll press E. More tutorial. Uh, skills, I bet has. Oh, oh my, a tutorial. E, more information. I do like it. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's here. Uh, journal is how we got here by hitting tab. There's our quest. Uh, map. Oh my goodness, the map has a tutorial. It's kind of good, though. Let's you know the temperature. The current season, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Uh, it's not some alien planet there, so there's that. And it shows what time it is, 8.03 in the morning. And is year 3,000? Three, How do I get 3,000 from 1,000? It must have been that, 8.03. That's what I blame it on. Uh, so escape, there's a tutorial. Management. We're going to be able to actually manage an entire little uh, settlement, but that's down the line. Don't worry about that. There's farming, there's crafting, there's building... All kinds of cool stuff. Don't worry about that right now. Technology. Technology. Look at all that stuff. 
This is great, uh, in my opinion. You've got building and survival and farming and, and, and uh, that looks crafting. Now, what's cool about these things is as you work on, say, crafting, guess what? Your crafting goes up. It's quite intense. It's, it's pretty amazing and mind-blowing. So what you're going to want to look for is uh, little rocks and sticks and these branches that stick out you can hold down and pull down all those sticks because what we're gonna do is be a little bit sneaky and sell rocks and sticks we might even put them together and call it a stone axe and uh, make some cash down this way but exclamation point on the compass at the top uh, let's start top down shall we Ooh, let's look at this first I gotta say, the game's looking beautiful. It's running really smooth. Um, and if I hit the map again really quick, see, here we are. You can zoom in nice. We started at this little intersection, so you get an idea we've walked to that far, not very far. But look at this big map. All kinds of cool stuff. Well, all right, we do have a quest to do. Uh, but again, I, I did say top down, right? So th at the very top, you see the little green tree right above the exclamation point in the compass. Uh, and then there's like a little half circle above that that is split into three parts and those are days so three days per season such as life uh in medieval dynasty so yeah it's it's pretty cool looking the map and the world is all built out uh the one place you can't build is like in the other settlements but beyond that it's all quite open i'm gonna build my little settlement just to get started down here um, but I'd be curious, like, I'm, I was thinking about doing something, like, down this way. By the way, tip, there's a bear right here by the cave. It's a big bear. Um, anyway, so there's that. Things to do. But I did say survival game, so you need to uh, eat and you need to drink. So bottom left, if we're working from the top down. Uh, all the way on the left is your stamina, so you can run... Stamina goes, oh, I never noticed this. Yeah, I got. this is quite the field they have going right here. Farming's for uh, maybe year two, year three. Not going to get there right yet. Something more like that's my style, a little smaller. Um, yeah. So bottom left, right. Bottom left, <laughs> left. <laughs> is uh, stamina in the green. And then in the red is my hit points. And then on the right part of that circle on the bottom left is like a yellow line. That's food. And on the right that's blue is water, which you can also see here. Health, food, water. This is cleanliness down here on the bottom right. This is like, I don't know. I've been dead for zero seconds. I'd actually, oh, poisoned, poisoned. Um, and then how your temperature is doing. So, inventory, we, we didn't touch on it too much, but this is everything I have. You get your tools, so I have a simple torch. I'm going to go ahead and hit F to just put that in my uh, torch spot. Uh, I have a, uh, some hosen, some nice little pants, uh, a shirt here, and some shoes. And it starts you out with some apples, dried meat, and oat rolls. You know, I have never seen an apple tree yet in the game. Uh, and then we're collecting up those rocks and sticks, and we've got 50 coin. I need one more rock. Come here, rock. Wintertime's pretty easy to grab rocks and hunt rabbits. Uh, this time of year, rocks and rabbits can be a little bit tricky to find. And you can't get them off. It's like the big rocks. That's not what you're looking for. Um... And then the berries are unripe. Uh, late summer, you can get the berries. I mean, you can pick them now. And they work towards your uh, skills. If I should just pick this stuff up, too. Oh, there's a rock. Bam. Rock. Oh, let's go into town. Uh, so, yeah, for water, you don't get poisoned from the water. You just go drink it from a lake, stream, whatever. Eventually, you'll get water skins, and uh, hey, look, there's our shoes and hands. Hold down the E button, and full water. There you go. 
Oh, and since we're down here, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. You see these reeds? Well, this is going to count as straw. Not this big, tall part, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. See these? Bam. It's like grass. So we're going to grab a bunch of these um, right outside of town, and I'll grab more later. And sticks. And now let's talk before we go in and get this quest crafting. So hit the Q button. You can craft, you can build, or then there's like other, which is kind of like crafting too. Uh, it's either locked because you don't have permission to build, because uh, we can't build on the land yet, um, and we can't build any traps or anything, right? Um, but you can do crafting. And if it's got just a red bag, it just means you're short on resources. So, uh, for example, stone axe. I need one more stick. I can do that. So if I grab a stick and hit that Q button again, go to crafting, now I can build a stone axe. It takes 10 sticks and two rocks. Now, if I want to build a wooden hammer, I need a log. But you can't go punching trees. This isn't rust. You actually need the stone axe first. So let's go ahead and build that. Bada boom, bada bang. And, oh, okay, it already hot barred it, but you can equip, and if you hit the F button to equip it, you can pick any hot slot. And if you hit the middle mouse button, look at that, there's like a, a wheel too. You can play the game with a controller. I haven't tried that yet. I'm gonna go ahead and start grabbing more of these things, but check this out. Now, we can go cutting trees. Whoa, swing and a miss, swing and a miss, buddy. So, oops, pardon me. This is my welcome to the town. Hope they didn't mind me cutting their trees. So one big wacky there gets all the sticks off of it and we get the sticks in our inventory. And another whack right there. And there's logs to pick up. And uh, we are mighty. Oh, there's feathers as well. Uh, still can't... Uh, Oh, by the way, these broadleaf uh, plantains, that one, you just press E to pick those up. Those are good for uh, 10 health each. Now, the only time I've run into health problems besides, you know, if you get attacked, which I haven't done, is wintertime. If you're out in the cold, you're going to start taking damage. And guess what? In the wintertime, you can't pick those plants up. So stock up while you can. And here we go, first little town, look at this. You can talk to everybody. If you hit that left alt, it shows who has quests, who can sell stuff. Like Adelina over here. Had the little bag over her head. So if I hit E, I can say, show me your wares. And she's selling, oh, carrot seeds. Now I'm not gonna do farming this year. Um, because I'm going to survive off of mushrooms and just buying food and things like that. But the different towns throughout... Okay, first, hold on. Uh, hey, do you have a minute? So you get some things to say here, one or two. How have you been lately? Or have you heard any gossip lately? So currently, 35-year-old Adelina has a 50% approval. So I'm going to say, how have you been lately? Oh, plus five. So now we're at 55 if you want to flirt with someone who's not married, uh, they got to be at a 60% approval rating. And if you want to flirt with someone who is, how dare you? No, anyway. Um, left alt. Here we go. Here's our mission. Talk to the Castellan. What's up, dude? No, I am not. Oh, he's in. Hey, stranger. What brings you to our valley? You don't look like a merchant or pilgrim. Yeah, no, I'm not. Rassimer is my name, or people call me Monty, because, you know, for short. Uh, and I came from the south looking for my uncle Jordan. Uh, hey, stranger, what brings... Oh, no, yeah. In uh, there, I guess I had more to say. In his old home, they called him Jordan the Raftsman. Ah, yes. Uh, he told me once about his life on the river. Uh, you came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. What happened to my uncle? He was a great man and an even better friend. 
Uh, as a good craftsman and an excellent trader, he made a small fortune here. See that tavern over there? Uh, I can't right now, but sure. He built and ran it, as well as many other shops you will find in the valet. My mother told me he got wealthy, but I had no idea. Uh, your uncle got himself killed, my friend. He had an idea with a huge trade with the German kingdom to the west. Now we got to just stay in the hills, bro. Uh, five carts filled with the best of stuffs. And uh, he was not fooling around, I can tell you that much. So what happened? Uh, he got ambushed by bandits. Uh, Uh-oh. Everyone got slaughtered. And uh, yeah, it didn't go so well. My uncle's dead, his wealth is gone, I came all this way for nothing. Well, I'm alive, and I'm holding an axe to this guy. Probably not a good start. I don't say that, I wouldn't let a nephew of Jordan go to waste. Or even, oh, and even if the most villagers uh, forget fast what they owe your uncle, I have not. Oh, so I bet no one else is really going to care who I am. Uh, and my word still carries weight. So tell me, can you build your own fortune? Well, I can craft tools, I can collect my necessaries from the wilderness, and I know how to count and barter. Nice, I got counting skills. Uh, that's only good enough. I may not have goods or gold to offer. But you can have as much land here as you want. Not sold, but granted to you for life. Nice. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep some livestock, haven't even got to any of that stuff. I can have all the lands I want, yes, but I'm going to have to pay taxes on them. And taxes, my friends, are every spring. So we'll start next year off with that. Uh, you can cut down trees to build your house. Reeds grow by the river. Uh, it will work well for a roof. Do you have some food with you? Not much, but that's pretty cool because I can hunt, pick mushrooms, and vendors do sell food. And money's really no problem. You can just go, like I said, Oh, he's right here, so let's not talk too loud. But yeah, we can just sell him sticks and stones. Uh, thank you so much for the advice. It's time for me to find the right place. But of course, right, once you can make better things, you sell better things. Uh, thank you very much. See you next time. Boo -doo -doo -doom -doom -doom. Cool, so we know about the tab menu. I already told you about the Q button because I'm on top of it. And inspection mode. This is an update because, not an update, but when you unlock technologies, we'll be able to see animals and herbs and, you know, the spears that you drop or that I drop. It'll happen. So let's knock out chapter one together. Like, watch me chop us some trees because you already have. Uh, so we need to get two more rocks, which is cool. I mean, we're always going to need more rocks. And let's go ahead and go over here where I kind of want to start building a camp. There's one. Oh, actually, before we go over there, there's two. Before we go over there, we are going to need 20 straw. Now, this is just to get the base of the house down. Heads up. Then you got to use a hammer. To uh, totally finish it out. So anyway, let's collect more. Some extras, because I know I'm going to need them. But I like how this works, alright? So there we go. Now. Let's head up on over here. I'm going to cut down some trees like a so. And your stamina, watch it. It's going down. Now, sleeping helps your health as well a little bit. And oddly, I have seen sleeping help my food and water. I'm pretty sure that was bugged. But we shall see. So, Q buildings. Actually, let me show it to you this way. If I hit tab and go to management, my dynasty reputation now allows for one building limit. So now I can build a house. That's what they've allowed me to start doing. The other thing that I can do right now, and I always recommend doing this as soon as possible, is build a rabbit trap. Poor rabbits, I know. However, actually, I'm going to go build this over here. More in the pine forest area, where I know rabbits hang. 
Boom. We're going to put that there. It works like uh, three times, three or four times, I believe. Um, and what's nice is it'll show up on the compass. I would like it if the icon changed, like when it's caught something, that the icon on the compass changes, but it doesn't. Just so you know. Um, but I need to cut down five trees, build the first house, and then I'm going to warp you guys more into the future. Because then you're going to get it. You see how to collect. You're seeing how skills are working. Uh, I'm going to show you what to do with those skills. Some skills level up and unlock things. Some things you got to pay for. So let's see. Uh, for example, crafting. We can't build a workshop yet, but we're getting close. We need 50 building points. So small house. Look at that. Oh, I know. We need water. Terrible timing. We don't need water. It's just recommending water. I want to build a house right down here. In the van. Down by the river. All right, there you go. Right here. Bada boom. Now, crafting. You need to build a hammer, which luckily we have a log. And we got the sticks. So I'm going to build this hammer. Then I'm going to hit my I button. Oh, I, I, he gave me a hammer. I didn't need to build a hammer. I just need to equip a hammer. It's good to have an extra hammer. We'll sell it, if nothing else. All right, so number two. Ooh, look at that. If I right-click, I can go to build mode, repair mode, upgrade, downgrade, and destroy. But we're going to be in build mode. And you mouse over this, and it says, I'll take a log. And it needs... Four, three, two, one more stick. Oh, nope. I read that wrong. It needs three more sticks. So, one, two, three. Boom. And every stick I pick up, I am getting technology points. Um, or maybe not technology points, but skill points in... Things like uh, survivals now of 74 of 100. And when I hit 100, I'm going to be able to put a skill point into this. And I always suggest survival knowledge, you know, or the knowledge first. Because it makes it so you get more skills faster. You know what I mean? So this is working the same thing for crafting and building and, and uh, all the things. I love it when a game works this way where... You level up by doing what you do. Anyway, I dig it. So also building points. Because we're building and using that hammer, it's at 5. When it gets to 50, we get the woodshed. Now, remember how I said some things you just get, like these you just get. The things that are over here, you gotta buy. But I can't buy this until I have 50 skills. So, things on tops of things on tops of things. So anyway, I'm gonna get the house built because that's what I want to do. And I'm going to bring you back when I do. But first, yes, thank you. Food and water. Um, I'm not going to hunt yet. One thing you are going to want to build up quick, though, is... Oh, a spear. I can do it. So I'm going to make two of them. Hit the R button to do multiple. The E button to max it out. The F button for good measure. No, just to build. Just to get it built. Boom. Two spears. And I'm going to equip on three. So now I go to three. Now I could hunt the rabbits. I could hunt a deer, but it, it's not a one shot. And uh, we'll get there. Oh dear, we'll get there. And I don't think we're going to have anything caught yet. Usually, you know, every day or so. It's hard to see the rabbits with all the underbrush. Oh, I have a rabbit already. Oh my goodness. Thank you for video's sake. Hold E to collect. Activate the trap again. And you don't always get leather, but I did. I got leather. One. And I got some meat. Man, here I was going to warp you guys into the future. But now, the world has changed. I'm going to grab some sticks. Because I'm hungry. We're going to go down by the river. 
I gotta make sure I have 10 sticks. So, extra stick. You can't have enough sticks. I mean, eventually you will. What you really can't have enough of is the rocks, and I'll tell you why soon enough, because once we can build a workshop, well, I'm gonna tell you now, I guess. Once you can build a workshop, you can make throwing stones, which one stone per throwing stone. For one, it's good money. And for two, it's crafting. So there's full water. Now you go to the other campfires. I need, I'm short one stick, right? Every time. Ooh, new level of survival. So let's do that first. Boom, skills. And like I said, I'm going to put it right into survival knowledge. Hit the F key. Bada boom, bada bang. We get an extra skill point from survival activities. So now we can build the campfire. Right here. If it was wintertime, it would help keep us warm. But you got a fire in your house. Why? The torch keeps you warm in the winter, by the way. If you don't get better clothes than what I'm wearing right now, and you make it to the first winter, if I forget to say that, use your torch, which is the F button, and it keeps you nice and warm. Now for this, you just hit the E button to cook, and look at that, I got three pieces of meat. I'm gonna hit R, hit E, and hit F, which was produce multiple, produce all of them, go. Uh, and I needed the extra stuff on the inside, so we're gonna finish the house together, because that's finishing chapter one. If we did all this work and I didn't do this together, What's the point? All right, come on, have enough sticks, Monty. Come on now. Boom. Logs done. Look at that. So you get you get a double bed because you know. Bam chico. Oh wow, well, you like beds, right? Then we got all the beds, 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 beds for days. All right, and a chest, which can hold fifty kilograms of stuff. So I'm going to put all the leather in there. Uh, the logs, F-E-F, 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 which is me going F to transfer, E for all, F to transfer. Don't get all offended, guys. There you go. Fee-fee, fee-fee, fee-fee. Um, so here's a little tip. If you cook and you're like, hey, I can't do this cauldron stuff, just click on the fire below it on the campfire. Oh, wait. I mean, for one. You light it with the torch. Put the hammer away. You can cook down here, too. So if I still had meat, uh, yeah, there's that. And in the winter, this keeps you warm. I had to hang out here on the first time I played winter because I didn't go get clothes. Which do you want to tip? On the map, Denica, they sell, there's, a, there's someone who sells clothes there. Also, if you're looking for quests, you can check the map. You know, if you ever played WoW, you know if you didn't. Exclamation points means someone's got a quest for you and a question mark. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. But look at chapter two. We need to make a stone knife. We need to hunt wild animals. And we need to survive for a season, which means we need to sleep. Two sleeps. And, oh, the stone knife we might be able to make. Uh, two rocks and five sticks. We could... But then uh, I put all the stuff away. And you know what? We'll keep that stuff in storage, and we'll just go get our own rocks now. Is the yeah? There's another rabbit. <gasps> Noise! Oh no! That's the saddest thing ever. Oh my goodness! I hope no. This is terror. That's yeah. I'll take the spear back though. Let's just end that. I mean, oh no. Oh no! Oh, oh, it got worse. It got worse. I need a knife. I need a knife and I don't have a knife to fin- Oh my. It's, uh, look away. <laughs> I can't look away. What's it doing? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my goodness. Um, well, we need to make that stone knife and we need another rock right now. Rock. Rock. For Bunny's sake, get me a rock. Make that knife. Oh my! Let's go. Oh, it's Okay, it's all better. It's all better now. Yep. 
Will you please stop moving your arms? It's just the wind. There we go. So chapter two, survive for a season. That's all we have to do. <laughs> Sleep two nights. Um, other than that, I made really bad things just happen. So how about I catch you next season? And then that's chapter two. So hope you guys make it to chapter two. Uh, I, I'm going to be doing some grinding on my own, which uh, should get us up to having uh, the workshop. That's my goal. Uh, so what I'm going to do is make lots of, you can make spears, you can make stone axes, um, and you can go sell it to anyone who sells stuff. Like if they, as long as they have the cash, sell them all the stuff. That's, that's it. Um, if you need food, go buy it. Make stone axes and go uh, go sell those and buy all. Guess the food. what? We made it to summer. It's now a yellow tree instead of a green tree, and it's got a little apple on the ground. It's just so awesome. Um, yeah. So that's what transitioned it from chapter one to chapter three. Now we have to complete three quests for neighbors, which is like you know, hey man, can you help me? Uh, uh I lost my stone axe. Can you make me one? I I can't use my left hand. Things like that. Um, so basically, you just go talk to people, find the exclamation points, and do the quests. And um, we have to successfully flirt, which I have not done yet, apparently. Uh, so we're going to do that. But you know what? I'm not I'm not in a rush to rush things, right? Uh, right now, guess what? This is, the, this is new. I told you I was going to get the skill points. Technology. And, of course, it's becoming nighttime. Look at that. I mean, I could, I can make a sewing thing. I mean, that's where we're at. That's that's the life we're living. So you come up here to your workshop, and you come craft uh, stone tools. Look at the throwing rock. It costs one rock to make a throwing rock. I mean, come on now. I mean, I don't have a rock. Ah, oh, I have rocks to show you, and I have eighty throwing rocks. But look at that price. 750% condition. I don't know how that's possible, but it is. Uh, yeah. So the throwing rocks, probably because it lets you throw them lots and lots of times before they break. Because of the rocks. Um, but I sell them. And that's where I get my food. And uh, that's how I'm living my life. And it's how I got all... Oh, I thought that it was like forest fires. I'm on edge with that. I live in the Pacific Northwest, so it's like... This is probably not the bravest idea. Um, and brightest... Yeah, so I'm going to build the sewing thing, and I'm going to bring you back, because uh, other than that, i got quests to do. It's it's uh, we'll, we'll do some quests together at some point, but I want to get through the first year. So, chapter three, I see you, but uh, let's uh, let's see what summer has post-summer. Did I, I... I said I wasn't going to farm, but it, this might be the save where I did have a farm. Look, I did get some carrot seeds. And uh, you got to get a hoe. I didn't do the whole thing. And I'm going to get taxed on it, I'm sure. So fall time, I might be able to pick those. You can put carrots with the meat and make stew. So that's cool. Um, see the berries? They're st oh, no, berries are berries. So summertime. I said late summer, but look at that. All these berries are ready to go. That's why I like this spot. I've got rabbits. I've got berries. It's all good. So now I just need a sewing place. And, um, uh, yeah. So let's do that. Hey yo, hey yo, if my loading skills are right, we're, uh, still chapter three, but look at that. A whole new building exists, because, you know, chopping trees, gathering reeds, it's all it's been, nothing fancy, it's not like I need refined lumber or anything. Um, and once you build it, all this stuff came with it. A chest, uh, I, I'm gonna be putting my, my fur and leather, I... I made or bought a simple sack uh, because you need the bag and the sack for um, sowing your seeds. Anyway, that's probably TMI. Spinning wheels is cool. Look at that. Linen threads. We need flax stock so we could start growing that. And we could go and grow some sheep uh, at some point. Tailoring table, not a lot I can do. Here's that... Uh, simple bag it just takes three leather so like i said every once in a while we're getting those rabbits and they're uh, producing that leather um thick leather gloves not even on the technology thing yet so a lot of it we're gonna have to 
unlock here under technology, under sewing, and I've bought linen thread and linen fabric. So for example, I can get a real good bag or I could go with shoes. Ooh, how about a straw hat for 50? Yeah, I'm running low on cash, but that's all good. What is, I can always sell some more stone axes. Um, now I can make a straw hat. I don't think I have the, the, the straw on me. 16 straw. Anyway, look at that. Anna Loom. That's where you're going to make your linen fabric and wool fabric. So pretty cool stuff. New, new stuff. But I still got to do some more quests and I uh, got to get my flirt on. But you know what? We're going to do that this winter to kind of close out this episode. So uh, we've got our workshop, we've got sewing. Uh, quick look at the management tab. Uh, I can build one more building, which is probably gonna be a storage shed. And I'm probably gonna put it right behind me, right here. So I'll come back, we'll have a storage shed in order because we've gotta get the flirting and the quest done so I can get more buildings. Not get more buildings, but be allowed to build more buildings. I don't want to have to dismantle this stuff until we move. Eventually, I'm going to want to move my settlement and we can build like really nice fencing and walls and all kinds of cool stuff in the future. I'm excited. I hope you are too. So let's get to winter and check out the last season of this episode. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Uh, actually, how cold is it? Negative 2.3 degrees Celsius. So it's freezing outside. Are you ready for the reveal? We're going to back out. Oh, no, now you can see through the window. Ta-da. It's winter. It's gross. Oh, check it out. Left alt. I can start seeing... Um, oh, it's winter. There is no herbs or anything. Fantastic. But I can see the rabbit trap. And if I come up here, I'll be able to see rabbits like scurry away in the distance, probably. We can't. But as you you can see a lot easier. But it's getting really cold. So get your torch out. Um, and you'll stay nice and warm. So let's go flirt. Get our flirt on. And finish off chapter three. Now I'm thinking there's some intelligent, successful ladies in this town that I would like to flirt with. And uh Let's just say the town on the other way over there, which looks beautiful from here in the winter. I mean, come on now. Oh, hit the H button. Hit the F button real quick. It moves and hides the HUD. So we could play hardcore like this. Wouldn't even know if I'm freezing. Um, yeah. So let's see. These people you're going to be eventually uh, able to recruit. It shows their skills, which is kind of cool. Uh, and that's a whole nother level to this game that I'm excited to get to. So Edwin has a quest. Oh, my stamina's low. Can't be uh, having my low stamina when I'm going to go flirt. Um, hmm. Who we, who we got flirts with? Let's see. Let's go in here. Hello? How y'all doing, Dobramira? 50% approval. Ah, oh, hey, do you have a minute? How have you been lately? Ooh, plus 10 approval. Um, I'm good for now. Hey, you want to talk real quick? Hey, do you have a minute? Ooh, oh, I can't. Ooh. We're not that close yet. It said 60% chance, but you know I can't push it. I think this is probably the wife over here. Uh, oh, hello. Show me your wares. I got distracted. See, look, watch, I could hit F, E, F, and sold all those sticks for like 10 gold. But don't be selling sticks for life, you know? I mean, you can do better than that. <laughs> hey guys, um, don't mind me. I'm just talking to the ladies. How you doing? Uh, alright, you don't want to have a good conversation. I appreciate that. Uh, Dagmara, how you doing? Let's see what's going on over here. Hello. I want to tell you some. Oh, hey, you got a minute? 
Uh, have you been lately? Plus 10 approval. I like it. I like it. I want to tell you something. Sorry, but I'm married. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Um. Next. Hey, ducks. Oh, by the way, check this out. Look, I could, I could, I could buy a duck. Or I could buy the, the gooseling. Cool. Oh, man, that was a run. Okay, so... Hello. How you doing, Inga? Oh, there you go. We're not too happy with each other, are we? Um, You got a minute? Can we fix what's happening here? Nice weather today, isn't it? Plus five. I love the snow. I should build a snowman. You want to build a snowman together? Oh, wait, no, I'm not... Um, oh, can I help you with something? I'm finished. The yields are awful. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, I could help. Oh, she wants some money. I'll help. In dialogue. Yeah, you are in my debt. Here's the money. No problems. So. <laughs> How you doing? What, what? You're already telling me no. Don't be telling me no, Inga. Better be saying something nice here. All right. I don't want to waste any more of time without you. Marry me. Zero percent chance. Yeah, that's a little aggressive. What an amazing dress you have. It suits you very well. Have you been lately? I hope you're doing well. If you ever need anything, just ask me. I'll be glad to help, especially since it's you. Yes! Dynasty reputation plus 50. Affection plus 10. I'm fine, thank you. Because, you know, I've, I, I, I figure I compliment her dress. She'll be like, this is my sleepwear, yo. Like... You crazy. Nice. New quest, chapter four, Into the Wilderness. And chapter four, guess what? You're for year two. You are for year two. Can you believe it? We made it. Oh, remember. Torch out. Stay warm in the winter. Um, medieval Dynasty. I'm really enjoying it. I think we've just barely scratched the surface. Uh, so I'm going to be excited to be bringing you back next episode. And again, I'll show you more of the uh, goings and gettings of things. But, uh, you know, some of it you might want to experience yourself. And the, just so you know, the grind wasn't that bad. You can see all the trees that I had to chop down. Eventually, I'll figure out the stumps. And new trees will grow, hopefully. Um, but it's nice to be back with another adventure for you guys. Something completely new on the channel so if you're new to the channel welcome i hope you guys hang out for another episode got all kinds of stuff so there it is our little village starting to grow mm. the plans for parking lots are engaged and the traps have been set Ooh, hunting lodge is next so we'll start with hunting lodge yeah, that's where we'll start. So catch you then. Take care, everybody. Keep on keeping on.